Oh my gosh. You have got to be kidding me. Wow, we zowie. I cannot believe this. <sighs> Look at that little gem right there. <gasps> the detail is incredible. Metal detecting. It's full of adventure, full of planning. For some camaraderie. Ready, Ryan? Oh, yeah. It's full of elation, frustration and even inspiration. People do it for all sorts of different reasons. Me, I just want to hold a little history in the hand. Good morning, everybody. We're back at it again this morning here at the old Methodist camp meeting site. And uh, um, got a couple hours to spend here today, so let's see what we can find. You are invited. Come on along. Found ourselves a little dime, 2000 and something, 2013, I think. <clears throat> I'm in the common area here around the tabernacle. And you know, I'm thinking I'll spend a little more time here, but then I think I'm gonna head to the outer boundaries. I think everybody and their brother's been here Although, I did find that half dime right over there by that little shrub. But, I, I think I'm going to head to the outskirts. Yeah, because here, I just, I think it's, I think it's mostly just coins that maybe kids have dropped. Super modern penny. Yeah, but this is a cool little place. Interesting little community with uh, tiny little alleys between the cottages, really neat. And I am just loving being on vacation here. Ooh, looks like maybe some age. Wow. What in the world do we have here? It's a wheat penny. Yeah, I see the one cent. It's gonna have to dry out some. And I see one, nine, one. So it's 19 teen something. On to the next. 94 quarter. We'll take that. On to the next modern clad quarter. But we are getting over to where I was told that right over in here was where the ladies' privies were from back in the old days. Hmm. Might have somewhat of a coin spill here. Again, might is the optimal word. Might. All that for a clad dime. I just about destroyed the half acre here trying to find a dime. On to the next. Oh, found us a penny. My goodness, that thing is eaten up. Pennsylvania dirt. It really chews them up. On to the next. Hey, we found our first nickel. This time, it's not a pull tab. Can you believe it? Nothing fancy about it, but interesting. Alrighty, on to the next. Another nickel signal that could very well be something else no believe it or not another nickel not a war nickel it's too red kids don't do this at home never use a brass bristled brush on a coin 
1972. That's cool. Double nickels by the privies. Nice. Can you believe it? Another nickel. What in the world? Triple nickels now. On to the next. Can you believe that? How does a Zinkin get that far down? Well, that looks like another... What is... I don't know what the deal is. It's a nickel night. 1960. And in fabulous condition. On to the next. Well, I can see it from here. Doesn't that look like a coin to you? Hey, we got ourselves an Indian head, right? <laughs> we got ourselves an Indian head. That is clearly an Indian headdress right there. That is an Indian. All I see is 18. Boy, that backside is rough. Isn't that funny how the two sides can be so very different? Actually, that is in beautiful shape in the back once that gets off of there. Wow! Nifty. You gotta love it. Right here in the lawn. Very nice. <laughs> More aluminum trim. All right, got another, got another high tone mixed in with a bunch of iron. Oh my gosh, you have got to be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. A second half dime. This one looks like it's got a lot more detail on it than yesterday's. I cannot believe it. This one is 18. It's either 1854 or 64. Being very gentle with it. 1854. Oh, that has a lot more detail than yesterday. Mm, very much more. Wow, we zowie! I cannot believe this. <sighs> Look at that little gem right there. <gasps> the detail is incredible. Oh, look at that. Wow. So many details. Oh, that that's phenomenal. That is phenomenal. I can't believe this. I've gone two and a half years without finding a half dime. And I find two within 24 hours. That's unbelievable. Oh, I love it. All right. I <laughs> love it. On to the next. That looks, oh my, that's a fatty. That, that right there is an Indian head penny from the first couple years they made them, I would guess, because that looks awfully thick to me. That is really gummed up. Let me clean this up and then let's, 
I'll I'll bring the video back. We'll see what we can we'll see what we can come up with from this. You know, hardly anybody that watches my channel subscribes to my channel. So if you are even remotely interested in what you see today, then uh, please do me a favor and uh, click the subscribe button. I would love to have you as a regular part of the channel. Plus, maybe I can make a little bit of money off of uh, my time and effort uh, to put these videos out. Thanks for your consideration. This is clearly an 1882 Indian head. Tons and tons of detail on that. That was dropped early in its life. So I'm glad, I'm glad that the front is so nice. The back is pretty much, there's no, there's no, not really much help in the back. But uh, still that is, you know, I guess it's not as thick as I thought. But that is a beautiful coin right there. 1882. You gotta love it. Well, I completely missed this coin. I completely missed that with my plug. <laughs> that looks like a completely destroyed Zinkin. So it doesn't matter that I hit that with my shovel. <sighs> well, it is the next morning, and uh, we're going to do our wrap up from yesterday. Um, I have to say, I'm not finding um, as many odds and ends as I thought. I thought I was going to find silverware and old toy parts and stuff like that, but really, yesterday was almost entirely coins. So let's take a look at what we found and. Um, and uh, then we'll we'll wrap it up. So starting off, and we found a, a fishing sinker, a Pura Vida necklace or something, an old part of a dog chain. Found uh, three quarters, five dimes, four nickels, and a pile of pennies, including um, one. Um, this is the only weedy, and it's from the teens. It says 191 something. Then we found our beautiful little, our beautiful little 1854 half dime, which I'm just absolutely thrilled about. That was a fresh drop, has tons of detail. Uh, 1882 Indian head and an 1880 something Indian head. So um, it was a pretty exciting, it was a pretty exciting um, half hour there last evening uh, ended up finding uh, two Indian heads and a and a half dime um, so I can't believe it I've gone two and a half years without finding one single half dime and then within 24 hours I wound up with two uh, in 1841 which was in our last episode and then the 1854 uh, which is in gorgeous shape. It was a fresh drop, so it still has most of its original detail. It's absolutely beautiful little thing. So I'm pretty excited. I'm starting to mellow out. This is day four of vacation for me. So we're just chilling out here. So um, loving it. Thanks for coming along. Uh, we'll see you on the next episode. Uh, I remind you that if you are not looking for it, you are not going to find it. We'll see you next time right here on History in the Hand.